So this is a police report from an arrest that was made on my person in August. Not going to get into any details because, you know, my intention was actually not to, to speak on this until it was all said and done. Uh, but just obtaining some information and just looking over it yesterday as um, someone representing themselves pro se, which uh, as long as they don't kill me, I will hopefully be able to share this information with you about how this is done. Um, notice that, 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 that the, there are allegations uh, that for one, I was speaking about ISIS. Now, if you go to the eyewitness account, you will be able to see the two presentations that were made uh, from the campus. Uh, one is on blasphemy, and the other was on religious law. And with respect to the Taliban, if you hear uh, myself use the word ISIS, uh, please let me know. Uh, the, the other thing, supposedly I was approached by campus security. That wasn't true. But I'm, I'm, I'm zoning in on this ISIS. I guess there was a staff page that was made about me. Um, calling it the individual who had been subject, um, you know, and that the word is that I'm representing ISIS. Now, this exemplifies what we've been speaking about over the past few years, that how this group is being used to you know, signal a false perception that all apocalyptic thinkers and those that know that this is the end times are somehow related to this group. And people that observe religious law that don't follow the pagan law um, are, you know, also somehow related to this group. This is information, if it still exists, it's on the account that was hacked several years ago, so Levi myself does not have the access to the account. Now, whether these uh, videos exist or not is unclear. However, uh, there are copies right close by. And so if anyone would like to, you know, know what was said about ISIS during the years of 2015 and 2016 and beyond, uh, please let myself know, and I would be glad to send you those copies. Otherwise, you may visit the Ross Reports account. That's R-A-S-R-E-P-O-R-T-S. -E and just do a search on ISIS Scampaign. S-C-A-M-P-A-I-G-N. Now, the other thing is that Originally, this was the police report that was obtained. Now, this is a good thing that Levi's representing himself because he's able to get this information um, when he would not otherwise have been able to. And basically, this information would be sealed. And that, therefore... If Levi had accepted the plea bargain, which was for $250, let's see if we can find it. Here it is. Offer by state would be 96 plus 150. So this was the offer for this deal. Now, we've already attended court half a dozen times, let's say, um, you know, on top of everything else, 
being put in jail, thrown in a, a special cell, uh, stripped of of clothes twice for you know for not removing my head covering. <clears throat> One of the times was uh, a woman CO was present. So these are all the uh, times that a court appearance was made. <clears throat> and still going to court, as a matter of fact, next uh, week. So, up until, up until Levi had read these documents, this was the only police report that was obtained. Since receiving these documents, there's also a separate police report now. This is the police report from the Winter Haven, which is the local jurisdiction in town. The, somehow the case was handed to the local jurisdictions. We've tried to discuss these barriers. You know, the feds use the states, the states use the county, the county use, you know, the, the cities. And, you know, this is to take any responsibility or liability off of themselves, uh, basically to disguise their operations about who, you know, where the orders are coming from. Um, all, you know, based on this, it could be reasonable to assume there was some kind of order since there was a staff page that was put out on the, you know, so-called suspect myself. Uh, so this is, this is the police report that was received. Here's another police report that just showed up. It's basically the same thing, except there's a few more words that are added. In the original police report, it was stated... The defendant would spontaneously utter statements about of freedom in this country. Completely false. We'll be able to prove that when I show you the video that was taken, which I do have a video of this incident. The second report added hating women in general. So, if being accused of affiliating oneself with with ISIS when for the past four maybe five years you've done a lot of speaking against ISIS because you know what ISIS is and where the origin of it is even their president said that it was created by the previous administration you know if that ain't enough now Levi hates women. Against me. So what is the deal? Well, one thing is, this is how these, these forces are working. They're sending women to the front lines because the public perception is one of which they're going to side with the women against the man because the women is seen as less, you know, uh, uh, less privileged. And so, you know, regardless of what the, the fact is, the perception is there. And so the, the first thing to note is that women are being sent to the front line. Now, I have a question of whether the first person that was actually sent to me was a woman or not. Hopefully that's going to be information that will come out. Um, the, the way that these things work is that these reports are now official. They go into your database. If, let's say, for example, Levi had accepted the plea, well, then basically all this information becomes true. Even if you hadn't seen it. So now, all of a sudden, you're a woman hater that works for ISIS. This is what you can call a key word. Once these words are entered into the database, it gives the authority to the machine to now track you. All these uh, professions are being allocated to the machine in some respect or another. And the machine is now doing 
the kind of decisions that humans used to do. And one of which is who to track, who to follow. How they going to track you? How are they going to follow you? Well, if you have a phone, they're going to listen to all the conversations or look at all the texts. If you're walking down the street, the facial record of the video camera will, will pick up your face. Uh, basically, this takes the role off of the police from physically watching you and putting it into a machine. Um, see, these are, these are steps that these people are coming to terms with, and they're agreeing to move forward in the future to implement these technologies. And they would like to believe in what they do, to have faith in the work of their hands. And so when they are given uh, this kind of justification, you know, that this person is, a, is, is, a, is engaging in hate speech, then it's a grounds for removal from the college campus, not probably not just this one, but others as well, as well as uh, the classification to profile the individual using the artificial intelligence. And that's all I'll say for now.